26, two people are in the hospital after they crashed their car into a canal this morning. Crews say the car was completely underwater when they arrived, but one of the victims had already been rescued by a good Samaritan. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo joins us live from the scene of that crash in Northwest Miami Dade with how all of this happened. Jessica. That's right, Carly. Well, it was right here in this canal where that car was submerged with two people inside, but it was all a different story. And thanks to a good Samaritan and Miami Dade Fire Rescue. Take a listen. Every morning, Roberto Gonzalez heads down the turnpike to get to work, but Saturday, his normal routine drive took a left turn when he saw a car sinking in the canal of Okeechobee Road and Northwest 118th Avenue. When Gonzalez pulled over, he tells us in Spanish, There were two people in the car. The woman was calling 911 and told me she could not swim. Gonzalez immediately dove into the canal and says, I left my stuff and went in the water and I was able to pull the woman out. But when I brought her to the shore and looked back, I realized the car had then completely submerged underwater and the man was still inside. As Gonzalez attempted to save the man within minutes, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue arrived on scene. It was it was completely submerged when, when the fire rescue arrived. Uh, within eight minutes of arrival, we had of the call, we had the the uh, divers in the water and they pulled a, a second victim out who went to a local hospital. The man remains in critical condition at a nearby hospital. The car has since been pulled out the canal, but the cause of the crash is still under investigation. Yeah, we're we're really proud of our dive program and we're really proud of our of our response times in Dade County. Uh, we do the best we can to serve our public. And this good Samaritan says he feels humbled that he was able to save a life. He tells us in Spanish, I just looked at the woman and it reminded me of my mother. I just had to save her either way. Now that woman is expected to be okay, but the man does remain in the hospital in critical condition. I'm live with Miami, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News.